everybody, I'm Ashley Esqueda, and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today I'm going to show you how to burn a DVD or a CD in Windows 7. Now before you get started, you want to make sure that you've purchased writable discs. Now this includes CDR, CDRW, DVDR, DVDRW, and Blu-ray R and RW. Today I have a DVDR, which means this is a DVD that can be written to but not rewritable. So if I burn this, I can't do it again. We're gonna start by inserting this into our computer before you do anything on your desktop. Once you put in your blank DVD, you're actually going to get a pop-up window for autoplay. And it'll ask you what you would like to do with this blank CD or DVD you've just inserted into your computer. There's gonna be some options available to you. You're gonna see burn files to disk, create disk or edit image, burn a DVD video disc, and burn data to CD, DVD. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on burn files to disc using Windows Explorer. Now once you've chosen burn a disc from Windows Explorer, it's gonna ask you how you'd like to use the disc. Now this is a very important choice. You can choose to use the disc like a USB flash drive, basically putting files on a disc. The second one is with a CD or DVD player. And this is an important choice to make if you are burning a CD that you'd like to use in your car, for example. Your car CD player needs to be able to understand that it's a music CD. But today we're going to choose like a USB flash drive. And we're gonna hit next. And it's gonna go and format the disc. So it's making sure the disc is ready to receive all that information. So once your disc is formatted, you can now choose exactly what you want on your disc. And it's very, very simple. All you have to do is open a new Windows Explorer folder and I'm gonna highlight all of those photos that I wanna move onto the disk. And all you have to do from here is simply drag those photos into the folder for your disk. And once you do that, it will actually write that information to the disk. And you can see the burning process goes very, very quickly. Now when you're done adding everything and anything that you want on your disk, all you have to do is go to the upper left side and it will say close session. Once that button looks like it hasn't been clicked, you know it's finished closing out the session. At this point, all you have to do is hit the button right next to it, which is eject. And now that we've ejected our disk, we have it ready to go. I can tell there is data on this disk by checking out the underside of the CD or DVD. And you'll see there'll be a ring, depending on how much information you put on it. It could be really thin or it could be really thick, but you can definitely see it on the underside so you know that your burning has worked. That's how to burn a CD or a DVD. That's it for Just Show Me on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content and we'll see you next time.